Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today we are going to be looking at, or I'm going to be doing a review of uh, these trains, this tr these nine locomotives over here, the C017 Complete Collection, available on the train store. A uh, link to that will be in the description box below, complete, with my affiliate link. And I believe purchasing all this entire pack together gives you a total saving of 51%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what the prices are in, in the various currencies that are available. And then I am going to talk a little bit about the locomotive their power their size whatever it is what they're used for then we're going to look at each locomotive in turn and then finally i'm going to pick one of these locomotives and take us out for a bit of a spin with some carriages on it so i'll also show you how to uh, hook up carriages so we're it's somewhere in russia we're on one of the uh, the russian routes that were available with the platinum collection obviously this in itself is not available in the platinum collection that's why i am showing it separately prices for this are 23 pounds 47 that's a uh, pound sterling so that's 51 percent off us dollars is 33 dollars 25 cents uh, australian dollars 43 dollars 45 cents Euros is 27 euros 5 cents and Canadian dollars is 42 dollars 97 cents. So there you go. That's the price in your respective countries. Hopefully that covers most countries around the world. If it doesn't, um, well, I suppose you just select US dollar and from there it should should convert it to your currency. Again, link to the link to the product is in the description box below, complete with the affiliate link if you are interested in purchasing this product. So let's start with talking a little bit more about this the co series that's what these trains are the co 17 series were designed for medium loads and working on lines with light rail built from 1934 to 1951 in places in russia that's i cannot pronounce uh, they were they were produced 3049 of them were produced uh, currently one of these engines is still runs on the on the rails doing some sort of um historical tours and holiday trips and films and stuff like that and i think it sits in a museum now which one is it i think i think it's that one let's go have a look uh the number should be is it one four one seven one or something there it is yes four one seven one so this train here still runs it's a museum train um i don't know why this is a bug with uh, trains a new era so don't worry about it uh, once we get our frames back that will sort itself out I'll talk a bit about how heavy this thing is on frames as well so this train here is one of the museum trains and does some holiday holiday runs as you can see each train looks fairly similar but also somewhat different so we're going to look at the similarities and differences of each train but first of all let's talk about what the train what the train's power and everything is. So let's click on this train, for example, since this one is right over to the side. Uh, 4173. As you can see, the configuration of the train is 250 on the driving axles. So, sorry, 150, not 250. 150. You can see that that is a fairly small wheel. As a matter of fact, these are all small wheels. The diameter of that wheel is only 1.32 meters. So if you're talking engineering you'll do it in millimeters or inches so it's 1320 mil uh, top speed of this train is 75 kilometers an hour which equates to about 46 miles per hour or thereabouts and it produces 2200 horsepower it is 23 meters long with the with the tender and weighs 97.8 tons uh, the tender is apparently i don't know anything about tenders but it's a four type 11 whatever that means and it has 18 tons of fuel oil on board you'll find all these trains under co17 as you can see right there you see that under co17 so that's where you will find all of these trains so let's have a quick look at them before taking one out for a run because i think that's pretty much all the information that is really required for these trains at this present moment in time so you can see that they're all different colors and they are in various states various conditions uh this one here looks like it's in a, a decentish condition with this with this green uh and red looks pretty good obviously each one has its own number on the side as well as potentially some em uh, some sort of emblem some sort of insignia 
or something like that. As you can see, that all of them have the star on the front, as far as I can tell. Yep, they all have the Russian star on the front. This one here looks like it's the most weathered of the lot, as you can see. It does look pretty, pretty weathered to me. Uh, it does. It doesn't look too bad though. It doesn't look like it's been uh, mistreated or not not looked after. It looks like the the coat of paint is is some years old, but it's still it's still fairly good. It looks like um, it's it's not dented or anything like that. So there isn't there isn't any sort of damage or anything. Headlights do not seem to work on any of these trains. As you can see, I'm pressing the headlights right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and move this train forward just a smidge. No, nothing on the headlights. I was just going to move it forward just to see if if it picks up anything on the headlights, but it doesn't. Okay, so there we go. So headlights do not work on this train. The whistles are interesting, not brilliant in quality. But they are pretty, pretty loud. And then they've got this one, the weird bell one, which is just going to keep going, which uh, is, is interesting. So they do have that. I do like the fact that this has the two-tone whistle. Look. So that's pretty good. So it does have the two-tone whistle on it. This one has the emblem of the USSR right there, the hammer and sickle, complete with some writing in Cyrillic, which I cannot actually read, or in Russian, I suppose you would call it. This one just has a star. So each one does have something different on these end plates over here. This one looks like some sort of royal train. I'm not sure what this train is, but it has some extra wings. And yeah, it does look like some, some train of high importance, even a flag. I mean, that flag looks somewhat familiar. To me, it's not the flag of Ukraine, is it? I don't think so. I don't think so. But it is It is somewhat familiar. So this looks like some sort of presidential or some sort of important train. Uh, like I said, this one, not that one. There we go. This one is the one that's in the museum. You can see it does look, this one looks the nicest in color. It actually looks very simple in its color. So I do I do quite like that. Um, this, These two look remarkably Russian. These two do look remarkably Russian with the bright, with this bright green color over here and this one over here with its weird metallic sort of blue. And as you can see, each train does have something different on it. For example, this one has some rails and the, fa and the side plates on it and some rails up the front. This one has some rails up the front only. This one has some rails up the front only, nothing on the side. Uh, whilst we as we go towards the back as you can see these ones they have some rails but they don't have any side plates these ones have rails and no side plates this one looks like it's kept in the best condition overall with the gold so this one does look good more correct writing over there as well as um, something from the Soviet Union some sort of insignia again again with the stars up the front but headlights do not work again like I said so that's that's one of the downsides of this of these trains none of the headlights seem to work on it I do hope they bring out an update for it that makes the headlights work or when they carry this over to the next sim that uh, Oran Games are making that would be pretty good or N3V whatever they're called now um, I'm gonna still call them Oran because that's what I've known them as for years um, and it used to be called Planet Oran as well the trains the train store and the DLC station and whatnot but there we go so that's the f that's a few trains as you can see each one with its own little number back and front texturing's pretty good on the outside I must say I do I do like the the quality of the texturing on the outside so that's pretty impressive um, all all around I think they they are very very nicely modeled very nicely detailed nothing too spectacular i am going to say it's nothing super amazing but i do like for example the the attention to detail there on the normal maps and the attention to detail along that to ensure that the rivets look in the right place i do really appreciate that attention to detail i also appreciate the the markings that are around here and the slight scuffs and stuff like that for example as you can see around there that's pretty good I do like I do like that uh, the idea of all of that. That's that's really really impressive. Uh, is it H? Or is it Shift and H? Control and H? Ah, Control and H. That's what I was after. I was just trying to get rid of all that writing for the signals. So I do I do appreciate the effort that they've put in to all of that. I think that's pretty pretty nifty. 
um, again all the way around it does look pretty good and once we once we get rid of all these we'll have a look at uh, the way the the steam comes out and the the funnels and the way the steam comes out the side along the injectors the cylinder cocks the the top funnel whatever it is the whistle etc so we'll have a look at that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete each one of these trains leaving just the one on the end platform and then we're going to see if we can take it out for a pretty short run maybe just about 10 10 minutes long and see what we can do but before I do that I would like to ensure that I get Ooh, don't do that Ooh, that's the end of the world right there fancy uh, I'm going to ensure that I can get a decent screenshot of these trains uh, how does that look Ooh, that doesn't look too bad does it for a, oh that's too close that doesn't look too bad for a no I want to move it I haven't I haven't picked the best place for this I will admit I will admit that this is not the best place for for any of these pictures to be taken Um, hang on a second. I'll get it. I'll get a decent picture. Don't worry. That could look all right. Yeah, let's let's use that as the picture. So they uh, actually move it along. Oh dear. Okay. This is a little bit finicky. I will admit. Actually, we could even go a picture like like that so you can see a lot more of them maybe one like that so let's let's have that as a potential picture too so I'll quickly take that okay so let's get rid of the the other trains and then we'll see exactly what we can come out with so we'll bring this up again and we will delete you and you and you and you and you and you so those nine trains are the nine trains available in the pack and this is the train that we're going to try out and we'll have a look at the inside of this train too so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up uh, a Russian some Russian passenger trains which looks like these ones look alright what color is that that's green I don't like that what color is this that's also green no let's not go for that one what color is this this looks old this looks nice and old. What color is this? Let's go for that one. Sure, why not? Delete that. So we'll we'll add. Uh, it says light. So let's say let's just add four and see see if it's capable of taking four of these. So it's obviously it's not it's not designed for long haul. It's not an LMS class or a class A4 or anything like that. It's a it's a light train which is interesting because it looks like a really big train but if you think about it look at the driving wheels a pretty small driving wheel so I can't imagine this train doing a huge amount of work let's grab it and we'll switch this into realistic mode for us so we're going to go up here quick drive control type realistic there we go we now have everything up and running for us right next signal is uh, yellow interesting Let's first of all have a look at the map and figure out what's going on. So we want to be crossing right the way across. So I'm actually going to try and uh, see what we can do. So I'll bring those back up and that's fine. That's green. Can I have a look at what, what I've actually done? Uh, I have kept that on this side I kind of I was hoping that I would go on that side but okay maybe maybe it's supposed to be this way let's quickly run up the track to ensure that there's nothing else coming the other way which there are uh, doesn't seem to be so we'll see if we can just get through one one or two stations at this point That seems to be fairly all right. Oh, hang on. There's this train. Where's that train going to be going? That's a very long train. As you can see, that the steam train is clearly not 
going to be able to take that. All right, we may end up colliding with that train, but for now, let's get back in to our train. There we go. Let's uh, release the train brake and have a look at what we've got. So that's the train brake right there. That's the independent. That's our water injector, which we'll bring in like so. Uh, let's bring our regulator up. No, let's bring this up to full forward. And then we'll bring our regulator up to... what? What's that? Uh, 61. Let's bring the regulator... Yeah, let's bring the regulator up nice and slowly. 70 seems okay. We'll bring the reversed handle slightly down. Not too much. There we go. We've got a little bit of injection of water. Let's have a look outside now. You can see that there's a glitch still with with where the um, where the smoke's coming out from. Look at that. It's really odd. It should sort itself out in a moment. That's actually a train's glitch, it seems. Next signal is red. So I'm actually going to do that. Brakes are okay. Brakes are okay. Right, let's uh, figure out why that signal is red. If I swapped over... An AI train has control over this junction lever. There is an AI train coming. So it looks like we're going to have to wait for an AI train. Let's have a look at where this AI train is that's coming in. I hope it's not like too far away. If it's really far away, it's going to be annoying. Now why would we be waiting all the way along? There it is. And in fact, that's on the wrong track. That's interesting. So we're waiting for this train, that train that I thought we might collide with. We're waiting for it. Now that's interesting because it's clearly on the wrong track. It should be on the opposite side. As you can see where the where the signals are. That's why. So we're we're going to have to wait all the way for that train. Alright, well let's let's wait for that train. It's not it's not going to be too far. Uh and in the meantime, we can well I I really did want to swap over. If I had managed to swap that over, that would have been pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's locked. See, I, I want it to be... I want to go... Well, I tell you what, we're going to stay on that side then as soon as that train passes. And then we will... So if that train can pull into the platform next to us, that platform there, then we can we can take this train out over the next platform so the brakes on this train are all right but it did seem immediately i found that this train just in that short gap i felt that this train is seemingly a little bit under power or underpowered even even for hauling what is this four one two three four of these carriages it does look nice though oh boy i always do this go back to that there we go All right, now we can get ourselves going. So, off the brakes. Why is that still red? There we go. That's now green. Let's go. All right, now we can get ourselves underway. Okay, small bug. That that was odd. It wasn't moving at the start, and now it's spinning remarkably fast. Is that faster than it should be? I'm just thinking whether that's faster than it should be. I'm not too sure, but I am going to see if we can pick up any amount of speed. This train, you can tell, is struggling already. And the, the funnel, the smoke from the funnel keeps moving. Ooh, that's nice. I never knew that. Look, if I hold that. That's nice. So it does have a bit more 
than than I first thought on that. So that's nice. Let's put a bit more power in. Clearly those people are going to be waiting and beeping and not very happy with me. Unfortunately, this is as fast as I can accelerate. Ah, interesting. Look at that. Listen, another little bug. That stops at when, when we're out at a certain zoom. And then we move in, it comes back in. Maybe that's something they can fix. There you go. That's something you can fix. Uh, obviously, the funnel smoke. I think if we go in and then... Wow, that's a fancy car, that is. What kind of car is that? There you go. Fun no, it's not, still not fixed. That's odd. I'm not sure what's wrong with the funnel smoke. Nine miles per hour. Bring a bit more in, in that. The detail inside is pretty good. Um, obviously, things like the floor and that could still use work, but the the uh, fire door is pretty good. The the gauges are all very nice. I'm surprised that's in miles per hour. I would have thought it would be in kilometers per hour, but I suppose, what do I know? What do I know? Uh, everything else seems to be okay in this. Nothing too spectacular. That's the horn, right? Uh, the whistle. I can't seem to do anything with it. Interesting. Not too sure. Can I? Oh, there we go. I can pull it from that side. Okay, can I pull it from from here? No. Interestingly, the, the rope doesn't work all the way around, which is kind of interesting too. That's okay. Yes, I think this should be in kilometers per hour, personally, but, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe back then they worked in miles per hour too, so... And if they did so, then that's that's completely fine, you know. There we go. We are picking up speed, though. We are picking up speed, so I'll do this for another few minutes just to see. This, the funnel keeps moving. The smoke for the funnel does keep moving. I'm not sure what... Ah, there we go. It's sort of coming in towards the middle now. There we go. That's better. That's better. Now we're sorted. All right. Now, now we're... I think that's a trains bug. That's a trains a new era bug. If I were to max out, would it actually start attempting to pick up more speed? Because 12 miles per hour is pretty slow. Let's be honest. The train does look all right. It does. The detailing on the train is pretty high quality. I am impressed with that. Moves off to the side sometimes. Uh, the frames in the smoke is pretty bad. But the detailing on the trains, particularly outside, is really... I mean, just look at that, all that movement. That is really well done. It's moved off to the side again. So for that, I've got to, I've got to give them props on that. That's, that's really well done. I am impressed with that. Now where's it gone? I don't know where the smoke's disappeared to now. Ah, it's back up the top. That was odd. So if I bring the that down and bring the power up, I keep forgetting how to how to get these trains to accelerate. Like I said, it seems to be struggling. It does seem to be struggling at 12 miles per hour. It's a definite struggle. But it's trying. It is trying to move forward. There we go. 13. Ooh, and it's changed. The sound's changed. 40. Now we're picking up speed. I think I've got this. So the one thing that's pretty good about this is I think it, it takes a lot of skill to move a low-powered steam train like this. Even just hauling four passenger. Either that or four passenger carriages. Either that or I am really really poor at driving these trains you know I, d I don't know anything about driving these trains right let's bring that water let's start injecting some water in start bringing the coal up and we are now moving fantastic so it's a good time for me to end this review so things quickly things i do like uh, do and don't like about it we'll start with things i do like uh, the detailing that is fantastic all that detailing 
really really neat i like the quality of the textures they're not perfect but they're good quality very very good for trains anyway um so i do like that what else do i like about it the fact that it's a difficult train to to actually get going that gives it a bit of a challenge makes it different from something like the uh lms coronation class or the princess class or, or stuff like that those are big heavy british engines that are well they're, they're really easy to get going um compared to a train like this this is much much harder to get moving so that's that's something that's impressive and that should do that should help help us out we are low on coal. Am I not putting coal in? No, I'm not. I need to open that door. How do I open that door? Why am I not putting coal in? I'm definitely not injecting coal. Or injecting, adding coal. Hang on a minute. What if I did that? No. I need to max out that. There we go. We are we are rolling now. We are definitely rolling. All right, fantastic. So we're going to end the end the uh, video here. Definitely going to end the video here. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains and new era. Leave a comment in the comments box below, letting me know what you think of this train. Let's actually uh, kill the power on that now. Now we're just going to coast for a while. Like I said, things I like is all that. Things I don't like, the funnel's weird, the lights don't work, the sound isn't great for the horn. Um, but apart from that, it's all right. There's a few niggles here and there, for example. That as well, I don't like that. So that's the things I don't like. But the things I do like is the amount of detail they've got on the actual train. And I love seeing this mechanism. Very well done. And the fact that it's a difficult train to actually get going so i do like that uh like i said like comment subscribe if you're watching this on twitch thumbs up and a follow and if you are or can afford to do so and are really interested please do support me on patreon www.patreon.com slash ec gadget also you can pick up this train in the description box below by following my affiliate link to the trains or on store thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys next time in trains a new era